Ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Capsule Computers Impact. Tonight we're going to be playing a little bit of Fuse for you. Fuse is brought to us from Insomniac Games. It's the same guys that have made uh, made the uh, the Resistance franchise for PlayStation 3, as well as a few other titles like that, the Ratchet and Clank games. Um, and and one of their signatures is the special weaponry that they bring to the game. So that's no different with this Fuse. Uh, it's a third-person shooter, and you have four different people, uh, four different characters involved. And if if you have a spare slot, you know, if you're playing single player, you can switch to any of the other three at any point in time. Um, that gives you a little bit of flexibility to be able to try things out. So let's jump into the campaign here. And you'll see here, let's see. I'm, I'm not going to play through the entire mission for you because um, there are only six or seven missions. There are only a few missions in the game. But each mission will take you probably a couple hours to get through. Uh, they, they're pretty long. And like I said, they're designed for four players at the same time. So... friend should have consulted me before handing you this number. What's the op? Damage control. We had a security breach in one of our research facilities. It left one of our more sensitive projects vulnerable. This is the kind of project that could be misunderstood if it ever came to light. You need us to secure it. Do you have anyone who can assist us? Yes. I believe I do. Hyperion Base, a secure government installation that stretches three miles below the Nevada desert. Two hours ago, it went completely that dark. Work. The client was able to reconstruct several security grabs from inside the East Wing. The status and nature of the threat is unknown, but whatever it is, it's hostile. I love it when he states the obvious. Secret Service detail checked in 27 minutes before the blackout. A scientist, Senator William Fable. He sits on the Senate Armed Services Committee. Fable isn't the priority. According to the client, there's some sort of advanced tech they need to keep from the public. That's what you're here to secure. <laughs> this place is on lockdown. Can the client open her up? Long way down. Ah, <laughs> get off my helicopter. Oh, no. Oh. Everybody out. Better bell out. Wee. I'm really not that clever. I apologize. All right. Oh, big, big boy. I'm glad they gave me this pistol. Just in time. What the hell is that thing? Enforcer. Automated soldier developed by Raven. Oculus, we gotta scrub the mission. The client didn't say anything about locking us in with a goddamn robot. 
The Senator's cargo manifest says they were bringing it in for some kind of test. Well, it looks like they ain't shit went sideways pretty quick. Chopper's down and we lost down here. We're proceeding with the mission. Get to the research and development way. Why would a private military contractor like Raven send in one robot? Beats me. Brooks, you work for him. You know, I unsubscribed from their newsletter. Alright, so, something to note. You just saw the gold bars that I picked up over here a, few, a couple seconds ago. That was uh, fuse credits. Now, <clears throat> the way that the game works, let's see, I'll go into the menu here. You have individual skills for each character, and you have team perks. Now, the team perks cost fuse credits, and you can uh, buy and upgrade those with these. Now, the fuse credits can be used by anybody on your team. In fact, everybody on your team can use it. So, you know, you got, there's an experience multiplier, extra health, all that sort of stuff. Um, but within the skills menu, you'll see I've, I've put a few hours into the game, so... I'm, I'm a little fleshed out on my on my menu here but um, you can customize each character as you work your way up level them up and uh, so with with Dalton he eventually gets a uh, a gun that creates a shield he can walk around with this giant ferrofluid shield mag shield that's what it's called so he can trap bullets in it he can he can fire big blasts back out and uh, level up his skills through that so that, that gives you a little bit of personalization for each character. Something else worth noting in the game that's pretty interesting. Um, if you're playing it single player, which is not how the game was designed. It was designed to be played you and three other friends, three co-op partners. But if you're playing single player or just you and one other buddy, you can hold the select button, pop up this little menu in the middle that shows the, everybody else's pictures, and you can hit a single button to warp to them, take control of them. Now, something you might notice there when I when I switch to uh, to this fella here. Uh, let me see what was his name. Jacob. So when you switch to Jacob, you get a little bit of that uh, uh, up at the top near his level. You see, he's level 13 right now. He's got 3,000 experience out of 20,000. But there's a little icon next to his name that's that's sitting there blinking. That means that in the skills menu, he's got an extra skill point to spend somewhere. So I'm going to use that to upgrade his fuse grenades. Now, I'm playing the first mission, but I'm playing it with characters who've worked through a little over half the campaign and uh, played played one or two rounds of the, uh, the wave-based mode in the game. So that's kind of what you have to work with. Now, a lot of the doors in the game require that at least two characters take control of it. This smart. Still trying still to keep it as co-op. Stay low and stick to cover. Found a terminal. Looks intact. Now, normally with guns like that, you saw how they have kind of the that glowing effect around them. You're going to have to use your your uh, special weapons to be able to handle that. Something's going on with that gun in there. Oh! That was no joke. What the hell was that? Oculus, what are they working on down here? Client says it has something to do with alternative energy. One thing I really like about the game, uh, they don't have it right now because I've already run through here, but there are hidden intel items in the game, as well as the gold bars for the fuse energy and, uh, and the other weaponry. 
So you can find these Intel items, get a better idea of the backstory or kind of the science and design behind some of the weapons and characters. Oh shit. Oculus, they're not building better light bulbs down here. They're making weapons. No kidding. I suspected as much. Just find the vaults and secure the stockpile. gentleman looks quite unhappy while well, he's still twitching so the enforcer rampages through the facility causes all this chaos but why is the client worried about the stash getting out the blast door was sealed when we got here <laughs> And that was a black hole. That's uh That's a wormhole. They're experimenting with antimatter. Antimatter? Does it matter? It's like some kind of ray gun. Ray gun. What is this 1950? Fuck you, what would you call it? I wanna meet the guy whose name is Ray. Gun. Yeah, a scientist for a father. That's like Tommy the Machine Gun. Here, we'll open the door for you, ladies. You go in with your guns drawn. Looks like some sort of prototype lab. Xenotype weapons unlocked. Hey, there we go. It's one of the meanest crossbows ever created. The arc shot. Xenotech weapons. Custom grip. Sorry, titanium alloy. It's a lot. Think these things are powered by this new stuff? Alright, so he gets crossbow bolts that do crazy damage. What I wanted to show off with some of these other weapons though, so you see Dalton over there has got a shield gun. So he holds that up and it it's a shield, but it can send out these these blasts that basically take out anything in their path. Uh, Naya has a gun that creates the wormholes, and Izzy has a gun that it's called the Shatter Gun, but it, it kinda so you can see there, it, it gets, uh, watch this pig. It had some sort of, like, tendrils on it. Well, the controls are pretty, pretty simple. So you got, the A button will dodge out of the way, but it'll also, if you hold down the A button, or you hit it near a, a wall, uh, you can run, kind of roadie run like you would with the Gears of War game. Or, uh, if you tap A, you'll jump over whatever surface you're on. If you hit the B button, it'll take cover. Like that. Um, the Y button will cause you to melee attack. And uh, the X button will reload. You can hold the X button down. And then hit... A different direction to uh, to swap your weapon. Of course, you actually don't even need the X button to do that. You just hit the D button. See, and then the right bumper will use uh, a, an ability once you acquire it. The left bumper will throw grenades if you have them. Of course, the uh, the left trigger will zoom in, bring up your targeting. Clicking on the right joystick will uh, that will bring up your targeting reticle, and then the right trigger, of course, shoots. Now, what I recommend is standing behind Dalton when he's got that shield drawn, and 
going to town with that. And I think there's actually a damage bonus that you get or an experience bonus or something later on with one of his ab abilities upgrades that will uh, that will allow you to do more damage, give you more experience or something if you're shooting through the shield. Like I mentioned before, the only way to take out the shields on these turrets is to hit them with your special weapons. And it only disables them for a little while and then you gotta hurry up and do what you need to do. Everyone okay? No holes that I can see. Naya, easy? I'm good. I'm clear. Let's keep moving. That thing is no joke. Stand a chance against that enforcer. Oh, thank God. Hey, hey, can you can you see me? Who are you, Marines? That's Senator Fable. This is an illegal op. Lie to him. Captain Spencer, Special Forces Echo Squad. What? I, I don't know. My security team and I were on our way out of the building when the lockdown started. I hid under the desk when I heard gunfire. We'll get you out, but we have to sweep the lower decks first. Does that console unlock this blast door? My access code should open any door in the building. At least it's supposed to. Hold on. Get down and stay out of sight. We'll be back. Hyperion credentials accepted. Fable. William. <laughs> What's my German Shepherd's name? Security grid offline. Opening main blast doors. Got it. We've got lots of movement on radar. Multiple heat signatures. Closing in on your position. Tell the client to reseal the damn doors. He's locked out of the system. Someone's opening it from the inside. Everybody move. I have a feeling this place is about to get robbed. Shitting me. There's a hundred plus men out here. We cannot let Raven walk out of here with experimental weapons. Alright, so with Naya, she can cloak. And then with Dalton. Okay, and then when you go down, it's just like a usual war game. Damn it! Come on. I'm coming. Uh. Going to be all right. Get back into it. This 
This is my new favorite toy. You know we're gonna have to get these things back eventually, right? Yeah? Well, my little friend here says different. Less talking, more shooting, please. Why? We breaking your concentration? No, just making my ears hurt. Shattered. Oh, we hurt the. Come on. There's what the shatter gun does. Pretty satisfying, not gonna lie. The Enforce is trying to knock out the Transformers. They control the priority vaults. That Enforcer severs the power. Raven will have access to every vault in the facility. Move! Those vaults probably contain the rest of the fuse arsenal. Let's find an elevator. We'll cut it off before it gets the chance. Experimental weapons. Anything they want. Sell them, trade them. Hell, they can even corner the market on their current source of income. Terrorism for hire. Oh, here's something interesting about the game. Let's breach through this wall. Okay. The breaching feels a little weird to me. Uh, you know, I mean, it works for the most part like other games, but check this out. So what are we going to do when we're breaching? We'll set the charges. Where are we going to go? Oh, a foot and a half away. Just, I don't know that I would be comfortable with that being uh, the full extent that I went, you know? Okay. So every now and then you get uh, you get a room like this that, that gives you basically the option to everything so you got uh, the prowler that's your shotgun daybreakers a kind of an assault rifle the dragonfly is like an Uzi it takes place of your pistol then of course there's the guardian that is your pistol uh, there are a few more but for the most part that's about it able to get back to oh there comes a grenade yeah keep your head down all right back up i've got you
There's a lot of dead guys. Now, I never just straight up go where the AI wants me to go immediately because usually there's, you know, at least ammunition, if not uh, fuse credits and uh, some of those hidden intel documents that give you the extra backstory throughout there somewhere. They clean the place out. Hard drives, project files, everything. It's almost as if they knew exactly where to go. I think it could be an inside job. It's always an inside job. Got some ammo over here. So that's a uh, that's kind of a good stopping point for now. Now, obviously, you know there are other enemies that you run into. There are uh, bad guys that you'll end up seeing that that you obviously haven't seen yet. So the story does get a little bit uh, more intriguing as you go, and uh, the enemies vary up a little bit. By and large, you're fighting big rooms of of enemies time after time, trying to figure out different paths around the rooms, and and tying it in, working cooperatively with the other uh, enemies, uh, the other teammates you've got. Um, make sure, I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping things up. Make sure that you check out our review. It's up on the site now, CapsuleComputers.com. You can follow us on Twitter at CapsuleComputer. Uh, you can follow me on on Twitter at GamerJoMo. It's right above here. Um, and make sure that you go check out all of our our uh, news reviews uh, we've got people constantly putting stuff up on the site for uh, video game news and reviews and previews uh, as well as anime uh, reviews and news and uh, we got a E3 starting goodness day after tomorrow so make sure you tune in there and check out all of our uh, all of our coverage of E3 as it pops up too so we'll be going crazy next week uh, as always, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. Have a great day.